Hey everybody, I'm Shauna and welcome back to Shauna Missy Me HD, where I strive to inform, encourage, and motivate you to achieve your educational goals by helping you gain admission into health-related undergraduate and graduate programs. And today is all about gaining admission into medical school, specifically focusing on the difference between MD and DO. Uh, don't get me started. But before we get started, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you press the notification bell so that you're the first to know when I release the next video. So I get asked, what is the difference between MD and DO and if both of them are physicians? Um, so in this video, I'm gonna compare MD to DO. First, giving you guys the similarities because the steps to becoming a physician, whether you pursue MD or DO, are the exact same. And then we'll talk about the major differences at the end. So first, to compare, what does MD stand for and what does DO stand for? Students who pursue an MD degree follow the allopathic medicine practice. Students who choose a DO degree follow the osteopathic medicine practice. It's just two different groups, so to speak, that <laughs> certify physicians to actually practice in America. And the study of medicine in which you fall under the category is either allopathic for an MD or osteopathic for a DO. Are both degrees recognized in the United States as physicians? The answer is yes. Both degree types allow physicians to practice medicine independently here in America. So whether you get an MD or a DO, you are an official doctor who is licensed to practice independently in America. Is there a difference in being able to pursue a certain specialty? The answer is no. There is a MD or a DO in every single specialty that there is. So it does not matter if you hold an MD or a DO degree, you will be able to specialize in whatever you want to specialize if you work hard in medical school, if you get the grades and you're competitive enough to actually match into those residency programs. Now, is it true that DO students typically have a harder time matching into certain specialties? I cannot speak for that myself, but for the DOs that I know, they were worried about whether they were gonna match and if their scores had to be higher than their MD competitors. Uh, just to match into the, uh, same, the same program. So I know that there is a concern, but has it stopped anyone from being able to match into whatever specialty? I believe the answer is no. I believe most likely it was other reasons of why a DO applicant did not match into a specialty. Do MDs and DOs get paid the same amount of money? Yes. So as far as schooling and training, you still have to go to a four-year university. You still have to go to a four-year medical school. You still have to attend residency and you still have to take all of your exams in order to be certified and licensed to practice in all 50 states, whether it's medicine or surgery, it does not matter. Both MD and DOs do the same thing when it comes to that. So then you ask, so what exactly is the difference? So the main difference between an MD and a DO is that DOs are trained under a holistic perspective of medicine, which basically means that they are trained to treat the entire person versus just a specific disease. So DOs are actually trained in something called osteopathic manipulative medicine or manipulative therapy, OMM, OMT, I've heard both. Um, and basically they take extra courses, I think somewhere near like hundreds of hours training in this field so that they can utilize this in their practice. And what it is, is the idea and belief behind that there are structural manipulations that one can do with the body that can help in the healing process of a disease. And so instead of just throwing medication and rehab at somebody, you know, uh, a DO doctor may say, hey, let me take a look and try to adjust you know, the, um, your shoulders or realignment or something. I, and I'm not a DO obviously, so I'm not trained in this. I don't know what the exact terminology is, but they try to physically manipulate the body, obviously in an appropriate fashion in order to kind of help with the overall healing of the body and not just a one particular disease. So that is the main difference. Another thing is that when it comes to specialties, a lot of DOs actually prefer the primary care setting probably because of what they're trained and how they kind of like preventative medicine, like a holistic side versus just, you know, cutting out an organ or um, 
you know, what I'm gonna do, just give a med medication. Um, and then MDs typically uh, go for different specialties outside of primary care. But that does not mean that if you have a DO degree, you cannot specialize in something that is not primary care. And for my viewers who are watching who don't know what primary care is, usually that involves your family medicine physicians, your pediatric physicians, and the psychiatry typically falls in the primary care um, setting, and then plus or minus internal medicine, depending on how you look at it because a lot of those internal medicine doctors go on to specialize in different subspecialties. Another difference between MD and DO schools is that there are far more MD schools in America. So therefore, just by numbers of schools, you're gonna automatically have more MDs in, in the country versus DOs. Uh, and just to furthermore kind of put things into perspective, when it comes to how many seats each uh, branch of medicine actually offers per year, MD schools are able to offer up to like 21,000, 22,000 seats per year, where DO schools only have about 8,000, somewhere around that number of uh, seats per year. So when, it, when you ask me if you should apply to both MD and DO schools, yes, unless you are just superb and your application is just out of this water and there's no way programs are going to turn you down, you need to apply to both. Hope that was helpful. Look out for my next video. You guys have a great day.